Did I do my intro? <laughs> I don't know if I did my intro, but. We are back. It's your girl, Alicia, holistic nutritionist and personal trainer. It's episode two of Restoring the Home, and we're talking about cleaning products. If you missed last episode, we talked about the Clean 15 and the Dirty Dozen, and I got so many great feedbacks from you guys just saying that you're very grateful and appreciative for the information and the Clean 15 and Dirty Dozen list. Again, the EWG does such a great job at providing this for us every year, and I think it's a tool that all of us can use when we go grocery shopping and share with our friends and our families, um, just because, like, this is something that we need, guys. Ah! I started to live a life that was more holistic to me in the way that I wanted to live, and I found that when I started with my food, it kind of branched off into other things. So I kind of like to think of it as a, as a tree. I'm, I'm the root and I'm grounding myself. And as each branch starts to like go off in diff different areas, you start finding yourself in different areas of the lifestyle that you're looking to lead. So I started off with my, my produce, I started off with the foods that I was eating, and it now slowly kind of got into the products that I was, that I was using. And I think this took me to a whole new elevation in this holistic lifestyle. Um, going to school was another big part of it as well. It really opened my eyes to all the harmful chemicals that was in the household products that we were using. Now this took some time and it's still taking some time, but I think that the information that's given was enough for me to be like, mm, I need to take a hold on certain things. And a big major key was my laundry detergent. Laundry, laundry detergent is very important because the clothes that we wear is on our skin, which is, which is one of our detoxification pathways. And the way that our clothes sit on our body, the products and the chemicals that are in the clothing from the stuff that we use can seep in, right? So there's small things that we don't even think about and it's not to go way too far into it, but it's just more of the sense of these small things got me to open up my eyes a little bit wider and I kind of just wanted to share this with my friends and my family and get my community to understand that Though our environment outside might seem very scary, our environment in our household is where we spend majority of our time. So why not make the airways in our household clean and fresh so we can feel good and move good and not and not feel like we're, we're making ourselves sick. So those were some eye-opening ways, eye-openers for me to start branching off into swapping different products. And I wanted to start off with the cleaning products and we're looking at laundry detergent, we're looking at dish soap, we're looking at the stuff that we use for our floors and our tables because they may smell so good and they make our household look nice and fresh and clean and our clothes feel nice and like snuggly, you don't wanna take it off. <laughs> But I've also realized that there are other ways that we can do this that is holistic, cleaner, and just great for our bodies and our environment and our health. So that is pretty much it, I think. I, I think it was really a lot of that. There's so much more. I, I've done projects, I've done so many other things, but those are really the key pointers of my eye opener. I've also come to realize that with this type of conversation, people will always say to me, well, eh, I've used it for so long, it is what it is, like, I'm still living, nothing's wrong with me. And I've come to realize with that type of statement, we keep a closed mind. And I want to open your mind to understand that though we might not feel sick now, years to come, it starts to add up. Our bodies start to do what it, it's doing inside of us before it starts showing us. So it's not too late to start transitioning into cleaner products, no matter how old you are. I started a few years back, and I think that I'm slowly starting to now reap the benefits of 
the small changes that I start to make and it only starts with small changes and that's all you need. You don't need to jump and clear out everything <laughs> that you bought. You just need to start with one thing and then start going and adding on next. So yeah. I want you to think about yourself as a barrel. This is a very simplistic way of generalizing how your body responds to toxins and how it can lead to diseases. Now, we are all born with a barrel. Some of our barrels are just bigger than others. Unfortunately, we don't know how big our barrel is until the disease starts to present itself. Environmental toxins, poor diet, pollution, mental and emotional stress, all of these things fill up our barrels. When our barrel is full, we exhibit symptoms of disease and illness. And our goal is to avoid filling up our barrel by reducing our exposure to all of these toxins. Hormone disrupting chemicals interfere, blocks, and mimic natural hormones. Carcinogens, cancer causing or aggravating neurotoxins. Respiratory toxins affect the respiratory system. Developmental toxins affect normal development and growth in children. All right, we're nearing the end of this video and I just want to say start small. When looking at products for your household, you can start looking for one of the two ingredients on this list here that you want to remove. You can opt in for unscented because it's hypoallergenic or use essential oils for scent. When discovering new things, we tend to want to jump right in and remove everything. This, everyone, this is how we fail. Now, in this clip, we have myself at Healthy Planet. Now, they didn't have the best selections of everything that I normally go for, but this goes to show you that there are brands that you can opt in for outside of the regular household names that you normally use. Below in the description, I will have uh, some websites that you guys can click onto to look for any of like cleaner brands that you wanna take a look for and ship it to your house. Um, but yeah, that's really everything for this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Leave a comment with one of your biggest takeaways. I would love to hear from you. Shout out to you guys for staying tuned for episode two for restoring the home. I will see you guys in episode three. It's your girl Alicia, holistic nutritionist and personal trainer. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Send this to a friend because we want them in our community as well. Catch you guys later.